Okay, here's the Realistic Radio Shack Clarinet 91 stereo system from 1980. And you may recall in the last video we replaced the defective Tetrad cartridge that turned out not to be the best quality. And to recap what happened, the problem was that the, the stylus liked to skip violently on a lot of records. And the ones it didn't skip on, it was very distorted. And I'll demonstrate. Sure, you can detect that distortion. Okay, so that's a quick recap of the problem we were having. And let me take this opportunity to give Gary at the voiceofmusic.com some uh, free advertising. I ordered this cartridge from him, and upon discovering a problem with it, I sent Gary an email, and he was very helpful to try to solve the problem. In fact, he told me no one gets stuck with a bad part from us. So, today in the mail I got not one, but two cartridges from Gary. One of them is a fan steel, just like the one that's in here that's bad. And the other one I don't know who it's made by, but he said these are some recent ones he got in from another manufacturer. And he just said give them a try and see which one works the best for you. So we're going to try this fan steel cartridge first and see how it performs. And if it acts stupid, then we will try this cartridge. Now he did tell me with this other brand of cartridge I would have to rewire the wiring harness like what it was originally on these fan steel cartridges. You have to reverse the white and black lead on the left channel. So yeah, I'll have to say that uh, Gary will be getting all of my phonograph business in the future, and I will recommend him to anybody that needs phonograph supplies to include needles, cartridges, idler wheel rebuilding, belts, 45 adapters, or any parts you might need for a Voice of Music product. Okay, let's do this cartridge swap and see what happens. Okay, Tetrad Fan Steel Cartridge Number Two is doing the same thing as the original. Okay, same issue. And now we'll try this other cartridge that he sent and see how it performs. Okay, here's the third Tetrad cartridge. I have not reversed the wires around yet, but it's not going to have any effect on whether it skips or not. Once I determine that it's okay, then I'll reverse the wires around. So let's see what happens. Well, I guess I unplugged the thing. Well, I think that did it, or at least it's a lot better anyway. It's not skipping, and I'm not detecting any distortion, and I haven't reversed the wires yet either. I hear Steely Dan playing. It skipped a little bit, but that just may be the nature of it. But out of the three cartridges we've tried, this one here is by far the best one, and I believe we're going to keep this one. Old Al Hurt mono album. Not bad. 
Okay, here we are. I have the wires to the cartridge reversed back to like they originally were. Seems to be doing pretty good. It's certainly better than the other two cartridges that we tried in this unit. Okay, there you go. As far as I'm concerned, this thing is fixed. Thanks for watching and more to come later.